Hi, I'm Nick Staub, President and Co-Owner of Rich & Sons RV Headquarters. Now today, I wanted to talk to you about roof maintenance and caring for your roof. Alright, so what I wanted to show you is what a brand new roof looks like. As you see, our technicians here just got done putting this brand new roof on. Now, <clears throat> this is what a roof looks like when it is brand new and when it's cared for properly. If you actually wash your roof two times per year and you properly check your sealants and everything, you can have a roof like this. This is what is intended to protect your RV. All right, so I'm on top of the roof. Now, this happens to be a one-piece rubber roof. That's what you're gonna find on most RVs. Now, there's different brands of different roofs. There's gonna be EPDM, there's TEK, and there's TPO. They're all care for about the same. The manufacturer recommends that you get up and inspect your roof at least two times per year. Now, what am I doing when I'm inspecting the roof? Well, I'm obviously looking at the roof and I'm making sure that there's no tears. I'm making sure that there's no separation. Now, on the side, there's gonna be sealant that's running up and down and I wanna make sure that I don't have gaps and cracks in the sealant because anywhere where I have a gap or a crack is obviously a place where water can get. Now, I'm also doing the same thing. I've got my skylights my vents and right here I'm wanting to make sure that all of the sealant is in good condition now the sealant is a rubberized sealant so it does have some flexibility to it but it will crack over time so we want to make sure that all of the sealant is what has its 100 percent integrity here I am on another roof and I just want to show some examples of why it is important to inspect your roof if you see right here I've got pinholes and gaps in this sealant. So what's gonna happen is that water is gonna penetrate through here and get through the wood panel that's under that's your actual roofing. See if you evaluate the skylight also, same kind of thing. It's got gaps in your sealant. Alright, so now I'm on another roof. Now this is another example why we wanna inspect our roofs a couple times annually. See what I've got? I've got bubbles. Now these aren't that bad but you need to keep an eye on these because what can happen is this right now means that the glue is letting loose from uh, the rubber itself. So as this continues to let loose obviously you can guess what's going to happen is that your roof's going to get caught by the wind and it could tear off. So this is something that I would definitely keep an eye on. Another thing I'd like to mention is when you are inspecting your roofs I want you to make sure that you inspect the sealant on your slide outs. If you look there is a single roll of roof tape that runs where the termination and the roof meet and with time dirt and sediment can get underneath that and cause that to peel up. No big deal. What you need to do is you just have to peel the roof tape up, clean the surface, and retape it. But if you don't keep an eye on this, that could become a problem. Water can seep through and cause your roof to become rotten. I wanted to show you another roof that unfortunately had a branch drag all the way across its side. And as you see, there's scrape marks all the way down it. And obviously, when you first look at it, you don't see it, but this is going to cause you years and years and years of headache if you don't get this addressed. Uh, we actually taped all the areas, um, but once again, this is another reason why it is imperative that you get up and look at your roof at least two times per year. We can't stress the importance of inspecting your roof on a regular basis, whether it be us inspecting your roof or if it's yourself getting up there. By properly inspecting your roof, you can extend the life of your RV and enjoy many, many years of camping with you. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it informative and it will help you to know what you need to do when it comes to inspecting your rubber roof.